Hello everyone. I got something very awesome for my truck uh, that I've been wanting for a while, so uh, let's look at it. This is a custom 3D printed uh, reverse lens with the Chrysler Fratzog logo in the center, which is really freaking awesome. Uh, my reverse lights on this truck have not worked since I've gotten them, or since 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 I've gotten this truck because it's uh, something I've just never worked on because um, I needed lenses and I didn't want to really fight with having to get more lenses because just something that I would have to do down the line but when I saw these I could not pass these up and I will put the link in the description of uh, where I got these and uh, they come they are it's a custom 3d printed and it comes in a dull finish but can be polished uh, I'm gonna put these on the truck as is for now and I will be polishing them l later on and let me get down to the front here and you can see there's the Fretzog logo right there this is the uh, a Dodge Adventurer emblem uh, my truck is not an, an adventure package but I found this emblem and I loved it so I got it but yes this with these reverse lenses I, I've, I've got the other one in my house but these reverse lenses are going to be very awesome once I get them installed I have to take some rust off of the uh, the uh, sockets and uh, get get some broken bulbs out first. So uh, I'm going to have that sitting overnight and going to get them installed tomorrow and see how they look. All right, here are the reverse lights. I was able to get the bulbs out, but as you can see, they got rust in here and will not really reflect very well. So what I'm going to be doing is soaking these in some cleaning strength vinegar overnight and when I get up in the morning I'm going to take them out scrub them down all the rust will be off of them and then I can spray paint the inside of them white like I did my front lenses my my uh, my my parking lenses that way the inside will be very reflective and I'm going to stuff some uh, tissue down in the socket so paint doesn't get down there but um, I'm going to get these soaking and I will see y'all in the morning. All right, it is the next morning and you can see, see if I can zoom in a little bit more. See this stuff is just flaking off of here and this is just straight uh, Heinz multi-purpose vinegar. The 6% acidity. I did not put water into this to dilute it. I did not put salt or anything to increase the acidity. I could, but I didn't want to. So let me get these out of here and scrubbed up and I'll let you see what they look like before I paint them. All right, one of these came out very, very nicely. The other one would have required a little bit more soaking, but uh, I really don't, really don't care about that rust that's on there. Uh, the inside cleaned up a little bit. Uh, the, that little, coating you see on there is just some flash rust and I just need to get get some paint on it but this one man it, this one cleaned up very nice and like I said all it was was that vinegar but this one that sprint that uh, bottom contact is not springing back so I'm not sure how much contact the bulbs gonna have on that I'm hoping it's gonna have good contact when I actually put one in but that one's actually uh, spraying up like it should so let me get some paint on this, let it dry, and then I'll have it on the truck with the custom 3D printed reverse lenses. And here they are installed, and for the first time in a very long time, the reverse lights are working. See, you can see the Fratzog logo in the center, which is very awesome. And I'm gonna have to get another set because this one cracked probably because the metal behind it is not straight so it's uh it wasn't cracked when i put it on here but um i must have bumped it or something and it and it cracked but i'm, I'm gonna leave it on there for for as long as it'll stay on there but i am very happy that the reverse lights are finally working on this truck well there it is there's my custom 3d printed reverse lenses um Unfortunately, one of them did crack, 
but I think I might it may have had one of the uh, one of the screws too tight and that with that metal not being straight back there um, probably contributed to some of that so uh, if your truck the metal is nice nice and flat even back there you most likely will not will not have any problems but uh, there it is the uh, I will pu put the link to where you can get these lenses in the description uh, if you like the video like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one